With SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket landing all of its boosters after taking a stroll through space, a never-ending fountain of memes sprawled across the internet all against flat earth theorists. Now you know the earth is not flat. You guys were all wrong. But honestly, is there a possibility for earth being flat despite the common belief of the globe? I gotta be honest, like this one is my favorite one so far. <laughs> So welcome to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Earth being flat. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so that you don't miss out on great content just like this. Just as we begin, I would like to point out that I am what they call a glober. I believe the Earth is a sphere. But I love a good debate. So by the end of this video, I am actually going to prove that the Earth is flat. Undeniably flat. But first, we need to consider how the flat Earth model actually works. The theory is in belief that the Earth is a disk, with the Arctic Circle in the centre and Antarctica a 150 foot wall of ice around the rim. NASA employees guard this wall. Now even if you got past the guards and climbed over the wall, you still couldn't fall because of the firmament, a dome which pretty much makes the Earth a snow globe. Which, I'm just pointing out now, that that means that the flat Earth theorists don't actually believe in a flat Earth. They believe in a dome Earth. I'll prove that it's actually flat. No dome, just flat. Unsurprisingly though, the flat Earth community has its own celebrities, music and merchandise, and a weighty catalogue of pseudoscientific theories which has even been the subject of a Netflix documentary. The first scientific estimates for the Earth's circumference was actually made by the ancient Greeks. A mathematician and geographer called Eratosthenes in 240 BC on the 21st of June noted the reflection of the sun could be seen in a deep well, meaning that it was directly overhead. In 150 AD, Ptolemy's treatise Geographia laid out a revolutionary system of assigning coordinates expressed in degrees of latitude and longitude to locations around the world. The mathematician and astronomer assigned these coordinates to more than 8,000 places across the known world. However, it's important to note that the flat earth theory has actually been with us a lot longer than globe earth theory. Whether you see that as a good or a bad thing, I'll leave that to you. However, their theories have also developed over time but are always dismissed ever since the spherical model was proposed and accepted by mainstream science. Earth's day and night cycle is explained by stating that the sun and moon are spheres that move in circles 3,000 miles above the plane of the Earth. These celestial spheres illuminate different parts of the planet in a 24-hour cycle. There's an invisible anti-moon that obscures the moon during lunar eclipses. But then, what about gravity? Well, flat earth theorists explain that gravity is simply an illusion. We know from the times of Isaac Newton and further investigations that gravity causes objects to accelerate downward. The flat earth theory has a distinct explanation for how gravity works. Gravity as we understand it pulls objects to the planet's core. But in flat earth, gravity is caused by the force of the flat earth traveling upwards at 32 feet per second squared due to dark energy. Which, to be honest, I don't like the Glober's explanation of why this isn't true, because they try to use their physics to try to explain it, stating that on a flat Earth, gravity would be stronger at the edges, forcing it this way, because gravity always goes to the center. So with a globe Earth here, you'd have the gravity pulling this way, where if it was flat, the gravity should stay the same because of the mass, which it would but they don't believe in gravity the same way we do. They believe that Earth is traveling upwards. So, forgetting that the sun and the moon are above the Earth here in the flat Earth model, which would crash into the planet, yeah. So let's forget about that. If Earth was traveling forward, just like in a car or an elevator, you'd feel the acceleration, but you don't feel the speed. So, if Earth wasn't accelerating, there'd be no gravity. So, Earth would constantly be accelerating faster and faster until it reaches light speed, 
where things would get very weird. Because time would dilate and the Earth would be forced to stop accelerating because it's reached the universal speed limit. And there would be a global apocalypse again. Yay! Now, what's up with space exploration missions that have taken photographs of the Earth? Considering that they've actually been to space, there's very little reason to believe that the Earth is flat if it has been documented that it is not. Well, their answer to that is that it's a conspiracy from the government and NASA and other such organizations where they know the truth, but they are keeping you ignorant. Which is plausible, I guess, because, I mean, I used Blender, a 3D modeling program, to create this image of the Earth. I mean, the stars are a bit rubbish, and uh, the moon wasn't even meant to be there. But it looked cool, so I kept it in. <laughs> so it's not really outlandish to think the idea that the governments could do this. But if the Flat Earth theorists are correct, why would they do this? Why would the governments go so far just to manipulate all these events to keep hidden the knowledge that the Earth is a sphere? Well, of course, it's all down to money. It would be less expensive to fake a space program than it would be to actually have one. And that would also include the fake lunar landings, but that's a topic for another video. So apparently, it's all a bunch of lies to help some people profit off of the innocent humans who can't go to space to find out if the Earth is flat or not. So I'm assuming that Elon Musk is part of the conspiracy as well now. Why isn't there a flat Mars society? But Elon has a fair point here. I mean, what about the other planets? And despite this tweet, I actually found different answers to that question. Either the planets are round and they orbit the Earth as we are the center of the universe, or the planets are just a projection on the firmament. So not finding any actual answers here, I took to Facebook to try and find actual people who believe the theory to find out the info that I needed, to which I got trolled a lot and uh, banned from three Facebook groups for asking questions. But the most unbelievable thing in this video, it was actually Reddit where I went and got my serious answers from. He stated, depends. One, planets are not real. Two, planets are real, but they are spherical, except the Earth, because the Earth is not a planet. So I replied, those are the two answers I've found. Planets are just a projection on the dome, or that they're planets just that orbit us. Which one is mainly believed? So he replied, none of the beliefs are mainly believed. Each individual you speak with will have a slightly different take. It's kind of like a buffet where you add your own spices. I am however aware that the Flat Earth Society's verified Twitter account replied to Elon Musk stating that the planets are actually round, but it still kind of feels like a create your own style of belief and everyone has their own take on it. So we'll just move on from here. And because of the alleged corruption, it doesn't seem like evidence is going to sway people's minds. But I don't really plan to change anyone's mind anyway, because you should be allowed to believe in what you want. It's the way it should be. And with all that, I still think that there is one way that flat earth theory could be seen as plausible. But that is definitely not from the perspective of a human. No, it's with cosmic ray particles. You see, when we try to detect muons, a cosmic ray particle, we actually detect a lot more than expected. These should almost all decay before reaching the Earth, but they don't, because they travel at speeds near that of the speed of light. This causes something known as time dilation, so time speeds up around them, and because space-time is connected, that means that from their perspective, the distance they have to cover is also much shorter. Since the distances from the point of view of these cosmic ray particles have shrunk in the direction that they're traveling, objects would seem much shorter as well, meaning that Earth and any other astronomical objects could be seen as flat. And to quote Vsauce here, considering that was their footage, sorry and thank you, um, Muon's traveling at 99.9999999999999 99.1% the speed of light would actually end up perceiving the Earth as being only 17 meters thick. So it's flat to them, but round to us. So I guess muons should be the true flat Earth theorists out there because they actually believe that the Earth is flat, not domed, just saying. However, most flat Earth theorists out there won't accept this as an explanation 
because they're not subatomic particles, so I get that. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Are you a glober, or are you a flat earther, or are you like me with the muons, a flat earther theorist? Yeah. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below, and if you like this video, then click the like button. It'd really help me out. And share it with flat earthers, because that would be funny. And globers as well, which is pretty much everyone. Except for raptor earth theorists. So let me know what you want to see me talk about next, and then you'll have to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss your suggested video. And I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.